Hey YouTube, in this problem we're going to find the work done by the force field given by this force field here, xi hat plus 2yj hat, on a particle as it moves along this curve from 0, 0 to 2, 8. All right, so by definition, the work done is the line integral of this vector field over this curve C. So solution. So by definition, the answer is just the line integral. So it's the line integral over C of f dot dr. And recall, this is defined to be the definite integral from A to B of your vector field at x of t comma y of t dot r prime of t dt. Okay, so in this case here, r of t is simply x of t i hat plus y of t j hat. So that will be t i hat plus t cubed j hat. So that's your r. So r prime in this case just means you take the derivative, right? So the derivative of t is 1. So you get 1 i hat plus 3t squared j hat. So rewriting our definite integral, we're going from a to b. Now what's a and what's b? Well, you'll notice x is uh, t. So this is going to be our t, so from 0 to 2. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 2. And now we're going to plug in uh, x of t and y of t into our force field. So x is going to be t, so it'll be parentheses t i hat, and then y is t cubed, right? So it'll be 2 times t cubed. So plus, well, I'll go ahead and simplify it. It's 2 times t cubed. So that's just 2t cubed. So 2t cubed j hat dot, and then r prime is right here. So it'll be, I'm going to write it as 1 i hat. It's just i hat, but I like to write it as 1 i hat. We'll see why in a minute. Plus 3t squared j hat dt. So once you get past all the notation, it's really not that bad. Right? It's really, really not that bad. This is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 2. Now you take the dot product. Now you'll see why I left it as a 1, right? Because it's t times 1, right? You multiply the components and you add. So t times 1 is just t. Plus, now we're doing 2t cubed times 3t squared. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then t cubed times t squared, you add the exponents. So you get t to the fifth. And all of this is with respect to t. Good stuff. All right, now all we do is integrate with respect to t. So this is going to be t squared over 2, using the power rule, plus 6t to the six over 6. But the 6 is canceled, so you just get t to the 6. And you're going from 0 to 2. You plug in the 2 first, so you get 2 squared over 2, plus 2 to the 6. Then you plug in 0, and then you just get 0 for both pieces. This ends up being 4 over 2, plus 2 to the 6. 2 to the 6 is 64. So you end up with 2 plus 64. And so the final answer is 66. That's it.